What's up, guys? It's your boy D-Day 171. If you came here to find the lead gameplay of GTA 5, get the fuck off my channel. Because you're not supposed to, man, us YouTubers are not supposed to be leaking gameplay. Rockstar has just explicitly said that in their press release. But I, put the, I put the link in the description of all the rules of people posting GTA 5. You're not supposed to, you're not supposed to leak gameplay or have gameplay before 12 a.m. on the 17th of September when the, the game comes out. It really, really upsets me because like Rockstar is not doing their not doing their part of taking down some of these videos that are like leaking gameplay. What I think about leaked gameplay, honestly, I don't really care if people leak gameplay of like you know a mission or two of some guy driving around. But when people leak gameplay of like endings and all that stuff, that really hurts the brand, hurts sales of GTA 5. GTA 5 is going to is going to sell a lot, but you know. It just ruins the game for a lot of people if you like leak endings and all that stuff because people don't like that. And honestly, what I think about leak gameplay in total, you know, maybe once here or there, but when everybody does it and they not, they're not getting the strikes that they like, Rockstar said they weren't. It really puts a damper on people that are trying to legitimately do this, trying to follow the rules, trying to maintain. You know, hey, it's. It's Rockstar's property. You have no right to. I mean, we we just they they give us a privilege to upload this stuff and monetize it. It's not a right. So and here's the thing: just with Rockstar, is that they they're taking that they're not taking down the videos that should be taken down by quote unquote their rules, but they're taking down videos. There's a guy named Mr. James Drury who basically got hit, got two strikes on his channel. They recently got removed, but he had to go all through all that stuff, all the legal process to get. All those strikes were moved, and the thing is that he he his videos were just basically official screenshots that he's allowed to post. And yet they're like Tech Two and Rockstar is taking down these videos, and yet not taking down the videos that should be taken down, aka leak endings, leak uh, leak gameplay before the 17th. And just like I said, Rockstar is not doing their job of taking down these channels. Uh, with the leaked endings and all that stuff. And it really makes, it's really frustrating for a lot of YouTubers trying to do this legitly. And are doing playing by the rules and people are not playing by the rules. And it just makes, it's kind of mind blowing to me. Like I said, honestly, a little bit of leaked gameplay I think helps sell the game a little bit. But people posting spoilers already, are you fucking kidding me? It ru you just ruined the game for a lot of people, dude. Guys, and... And, you know, I'm posting GTA 4 because I'm not supposed to post GTA 5. I'm not getting it until 12 a.m. like the rest of us. I'm, I'm not getting the game early. I'm getting the game night at night. I'll probably be streaming it tonight on that night. So, it, it just, it's just a really frustrating. I'm sorry for the rant, but it's just something I had to get off my chest. And I, I'm really excited for GTA 5, but I want to see the story as I go, I'll go along. But I don't want to see, like... I don't want to see like all the endings, like people spamming YouTube with endings and all that stuff. So, what do you guys think? What do you guys think about GTA 5 leaked gameplay? Because I think it's a little bit okay, but uh, too much of it, I like ending stuff, ruins the game for a lot of people. And what do you guys think? Are you guys excited for GTA 5? I'll be getting for 360. I'll be posting it when we're supposed to at 12 a.m. on 7th on the September 17th. So, peace out, guys.